Building your component in Component Creator is really easy. All you have to do is find one of these build and download buttons in your component and just click it. Now these buttons are everywhere, so it should be pretty easy to find one. Uh, so once you click it, that's all there is to it. Component Creator will create all of the necessary files for your component and package them into a ready to install component package. So let's go ahead and save that. I've got it in a folder called My Component. So I'll save it and then let's take a look at it. So you see it downloads this zip file. It's com underscore movies 1.0.0.zip. Now that's the name of the component, the version number that we set in Component Creator, and then just the file type. So it's a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And let's take a look at the file structure here. So you see you have an administrator area. And so within the administrator, you've got movies.php, which is the entry point to the component. You've got controller.php. Um, you've got several controllers here. Uh, you've got some helpers. You've got languages. You've got your models, your views. Uh, these are the SQL files that define our tables. Uh, and then you've got your tables file that define the table objects. You also have an installer. So that defines the, uh, the structure of the component. Uh, you've got a media folder that stores CSS and JavaScript files. You've got a modules folder that's, that's going to store our module that we created. Plugins folder, that's got the search plugin that comes with the component. Script.php, which is just the, uh, an installer script that goes along with the component. And that's what's going to install the plugin and the modules. And then your site folder, which has the front end code. Um, so let's just take a look at one of these files. So I'm going to open this with my text editor. And you can see it's just standard Joomla component code. And so it, it loads the controller libraries. It loads our component prefix. Uh, it registers our controllers. Uh, and then it runs the component. Uh, and then we also, let's look at a controller just as an example. So again, it's, it's just movies controller extends J controller legacy. So component creator is writing standard Joomla component code for you. And all you had to do was fill out a few forms on the component creator website. And it did all of that for you. So I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need that anymore. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and install it in a Joomla installation and test it to make sure that we built everything correctly. Now I trust Component Creator is an excellent tool, and so we're not testing to make sure that Component Creator didn't break anything. We know it did its job, but there could be some user error, so we need to test it and make sure that we did our job correctly in building the component. Now if you're following along and you don't already have Joomla installed somewhere, you can go ahead and pause the video and take a moment to install Joomla so that you can install your new component. On demo.joomla.org, you can easily set up a free, free website. So we'll call it test site. Enter your email address and a password and launch your demo site. So that's pretty easy. I'm actually using MAMP on my local host. So I already got it set up. So we're not going to use demo.joomla.org here, but you can use that if you want to. In my Joomla control panel, first thing we want to do is go to extensions manage. And this is where we can install our Joomla component. So I'm going to just move this over so that I can drag my component on here and install it. Plugins, modules, and the component were all installed successfully. So now I've got components, movies installed and ready to go. Now that the component is installed, let's take it for a test run. So the first thing that we want to do is add some categories. So if I click on categories, this takes me into Joomla's categories component. I'm no longer in my movies component. I'm actually in Joomla's categories component. But Joomla is smart enough to load my movies uh, menu over here on the sidebar. So let's go ahead and add a new category. So we will just add one called, uh, let's do a drama category. Save and new. Uh, we'll do a comedy category. And 
And let's do adventure. And that should be enough categories to get us going. So now that we have some categories, uh, let's add some directors. Because you remember in our, in our foreign key field that we added, uh, we're selecting from a list of the directors for our movie. And so we gotta have some directors to choose from first before we add a movie. So let's add a director. Let's do uh, John Abelson. Now these are all directors that I pre-selected from some of my favorite movies. So let's add some more. Let's see Richard Donner. Penelope Spheris. And Jared Hess. So we've got some directors listed now. So now that we have our directors and our categories, we're ready to add some movies. Let's go into our movies table here. We'll add a new movie. Published status, created by me, modified by me. So title, the first movie, greatest movie of all time, my favorite movie, Karate Kid. We'll just say this is a movie about a kid and karate. Obviously, we would put a better description than that, but for the sake of time, we are not going to do that. Uh, the release date was June 22nd, 1984. So let's go back to 1984. And June 22nd. The director is John Abelson, starring Ralph Macchio as Daniel LaRusso, and then Pat Morita as Mr. Miyagi. Rating, obviously, five stars. Review, best movie ever. Awards, did it win any awards? Honestly, I don't know. Um, we'll say it won uh, Best Picture, and we'll say it won it 1985, 01, 01. Category, we'll call this Drama. And we'll save it.